Hi, this is Fraser from FF Art Studio. Welcome back friends to my channel. Today we will be sculpting male hair following these references. So let's get started. In the first step we will mask out the area for creating the base mesh of the hair. A good base is as good as its mask, so try to get a mask as clean as possible. And don't shy away from following the references you are working on. Once we are happy with the mask, it's now time to create the base mesh by extracting the masked area. For that, we will go to the subtool panel and select the extract option. I will keep the smooth value to 5 and thickness to 0.02 and hit the accept button. As you can see, it has created a separate mesh from the mask. This will be the base of the hair we'll sculpt on. So let's start the second step which is sculpting the primary forms to create the basic shape of the hair. We'll use the inflate and move brushes for that and adjust the brush size as needed. Once we are happy with the basic form, we'll smooth down the bumps holding shift. Moving on to the next step, we'll use the clay buildup brush to create the secondary forms and the hair clusters. And friend if you are still watching it means you like the video so don't hesitate to like it. Also if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please hit the subscribe button. You go ahead and just do it what are you waiting for? I will keep bringing videos on 3D art for you. One more thing we also have some awesome collection of relaxing and work music playlists I'm sure you will love. Nevertheless, if you have any queries or want me to create a video on any topic of your choice, please let me know in the comments below. Friends, initially I had 
thought of creating the puff flowing towards the left, but I felt the reference in the bottom right Connor's hair flow will look better. So pardon me for that. Anyways, that's the beauty of sculpting in stages, you can very easily modify it if needed. I also keep backup files for every stage, so don't forget that. Once we are happy with it, we will smooth down and use the trim dynamic brush to flatten and even out the areas above the ears. Let's work on the back of the hair now, we'll make it a little longer and thicker. Moving on to the final step, we'll create the finer hair strands using the ZBG standard hair sculpting brush. Try to follow the natural hair flow direction using the references. I'll provide the link to this brush in the description below. If you want, you may leave it like this. But I will smooth out some of the areas and also refine it a bit more using the pinch brush. Thanks friend for staying till the end. I hope you have learned a few things about sculpting male hair in ZBrush through this tutorial. Goodbye, and stay safe.